Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at discrete random variables and in particular approximations of random variables using other distributions. So what we're going to do here is look at, so, so essentially let's look at the question. For a certain type of policy, the probability that this policyholder will make a claim in a year is 0 0.001, which is to say 1 in 1,000, okay? Now, if a random sample of 10,000 policyholders is selected, calculate an approximate, remember that word, value for the probability that not more than five claims, five will make a claim next year. Okay, so not more than five, that means less than or equal to five. That's something to remember as well. So, in the first instance, we would use the binomial distribution to answer this. And the reason is, we have a clearly identified value for P, which is 1,000, or 1 in 1,000, or 0 0.001. And then we have N equals 10,000 policies. So, policyholders even. Now, if you try the calculations, you'll realize very quickly that that gets very difficult to do. Even just for one part of the calculation. So, essentially what we're going to do is we are going to remember that we are asked to make an approximate value for that. Okay. So the what we're going to do here is use the binomial sorry you use the Poisson distribution to uh, just uh, to approximate it. Now what we have to do in the first instance though is justify it and remember this should always be part of your answer. Now what I have here is sort of more theory written out that's not exactly part of the answer for this it's just general theory. So for when the value of n in a binomial distribution is large, and it's definitely this, that case here, and the value of p is small, again, that's the case here, the binomial distribution can be approximated by a Poisson distribution if the following conditions are met. n is greater than 20, that's definitely the case here, p is less than 0 0.05. Now in some other textbooks or courses, you might get different things like n has to be greater than 50, and p is less than 0 0.02 so other things doesn't really matter as a, just sort of justify it according to how you are told to justify it in your textbooks and your cor coursework okay the, the point is not how you justify it but just justify it okay now sometimes we use much more strenuous conditions as well uh, np has to be less than or equal to less than five or less than or equal to five we actually won't meet that and we don't meet that. So essentially what I'm going to do here is just ignore that one. Okay. Has to be less than or equal to 5. We're actually we're at, at 10. So x is a bi binomial random variable with uh, sample size 10,000 and p equals 0 0.001. Okay. x can be approximated by the binomial distribution with, lam with mean lambda is equal to 10. So where does that figure come from? Binomial mean equals n times p, which is, in this case, it's 10,000, multiplied by 1 over 1,000, which is similarly, essentially dividing by 1,000. 10,000 divided by 1,000, that gives us 10, and that is our value for lambda, okay? So there we go there. So essentially what we have to do is approximate the probability of no more than five claims. So... To do that, what we're going to do here is we are going to use the binomial mass function. I just realized my... Some of my numbers are coming out a little bit funny. Anyway, k factorial is what that should read there. So I'm, my factorial signs are a little bit messed up. So this is what we're going to use. And essentially what we have to use is, is uh, we have to use it six times. We're not using tables here. If you have tables, great. But we're going to use, work it out here from scratch. Probability of x less than or equal to 5 equals the probability of e, uh, x equals 0. Probability of x equals 1, 2, 3, all the way up to, up to the probability of x equal to 5. Now, what we're going to do here is work it out for each uh, of the six. We'll work, work out this calculation here for each of the six numbers. So essentially this is the operation that we're going to do. This one here. Now, so essentially, again, the factorial signs have gone a little bit funny there. I don't know why that's happening, but just bear with me. Uh, live editing is great. So essentially what we're gonna do here is just 
e to the minus lambda, just take that out, that's e to the minus 10 actually. So e to the minus 10 by the sum of uh, lambda factorial, well actually let's just do 10, 10 to the power of i over i factorial, okay? So i will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? So when i is equal to 0, 10 to the Ten to the power of zero is one. Zero factorial is one. One divided by one gives us one. When i is equal to one, ten to the power of one is ten. One factorial is ten, and so on. So we work it out: ten squared over two factorial plus ten cubed over three factorial factorial plus ten to the power of four over four factorial plus ten to the power of five over five factorial. Just work it through. Essentially, it's a little bit of calculator work. Essentially what we do is add up all those numbers there and multiply that sum by e to the minus 10. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And then we should end up with 0 0.0671. And that's the answer we're looking for. You should get an answer close to that. Again, rounding error comes into play a lot. So we'll leave it there.